Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1992 Action Packed. Not just the regular set, but I also have the rookie set as well. So, start off, they, they like to, to put a card on the inside. So 1992 they had Barry Sanders for the, the uh, player on the inside, so Cunningham was the previous year. And then for the rookie they have Von Dunbar. Um, the rookie box is bigger because they actually had seven cards in each pack rather than six which was about time for them to do that. But that also means that the Series 2 box is the exact right height for storing cards. 91's a little bit too, too short, so you can't quite stack them on the side. Um, the card design for 1992 is bold. I will say that. I was never a big fan of it. The, the stripe is just a little bit too much. I like the idea, and with, with Thurman Thomas here, this card actually does look fantastic but if I grab Steve Entman the card isn't nearly as good so that's that's just um, the nature of the 1992 set they had to make it different from 91 and you know they did so the the significant uh, the the set is um, is uh, I got two boxes because in 1990 Every single box says Series 1 or Series 2, somewhere up, I think it's up on the top. And that's because there are 280 cards in the set, but each box contains 140 cards. And so they actually had the, the production run in such a reliable way that half of the cards were in one box, half were in the other. So if you just wanted to get, say, Dan Marino cards, you could find out if he showed up in the Series 1 box or the Series 2 box. You could just buy a bunch of those boxes and get a bunch of Dan Marino cards, which is kind of dumb, but it means you can buy two boxes and know you're going to get a set. Well, they didn't, they didn't specify it later on, so I was really curious. I'd never opened two of these boxes to check and see, so I wanted to do that. I wanted to see if there's a reliability between them or if there's a randomness. And what I found with these two sets is it certainly does appear that it's half in one box and half in the other because these are almost identical. Now, there was one pack that I got that had Jim Harbaugh, John Elway, Eric Kramer, Nick Bell, uh, Terry Allen, Mark Ingram, and Ricky Reynolds. And that pack, when I opened it, I had just opened the same pack. So this pack was perfectly 100% duplicated in one of the boxes. The other box, interestingly, had one double. So when I got this one double, I figured, okay, this it should be kind of random. Well, as it turns out, other than this number, or I should say this number of cards, these two sets are 100% identical. They're exactly the same. So it appears that they did in fact do um, a reliable print run, which is interesting with the 91 and 92 because you can actually get 24 karat gold cards. There's an insert set that they have. They also have braille cards. So I did get an Emmett Smith braille card and this was, this was from the same box as Megat, so so that means that I would be two cards shy of half the set in that box. But it actually has Braille right here on, on the card back. It's really a cool thing. They did that with, with one card that was a promo in 1990, and then they did it as inserts in 91, 92, 93. Um, these are numbered to be an extension of the card set, whereas in 1993 it was done as a parallel, just so that you know. So that means that with these boxes, pro you'll probably need to get multiple boxes because you could run into the same, same pair. At the end of the day, if you get two boxes and you get no doubles, you are probably gonna get one of these or a gold card. So you'll probably need to pick up one or two cards anyway, but it'll get you pretty close. But it is, it is impressive to open two boxes and get all the same cards. So what cards did I get? Well, I got Thurman Thomas's, Michael Irvin's, I got Emmett Smith's, I got John Elway's, Barry Sanders, if I can keep him up here. So I got Barry, Derek Thomas, Marcus Allen, and Reggie White. So I got two of each of those. But that's almost all of the star cards in this set. It's, it's an interesting thing with the 1992 set, because in 91, they had basically everybody in it. In 92, they left a couple of players out. And the reason they did that was because in the rookie set, at the end, they have some stars. So, in the rookie set, you have Carl Pickens, you have Jimmy Smith, 
one of the rare Jimmy Smith cards, and you got Tommy Maddox. You've also got, oh, and uh, Edgar Bennett. On top of that, you got Jerry Rice, veteran, Joe Montana, LT, Dan Marino, Troy Aikman, and Neon Deion Sanders. So, they li left some of the stars for the rookie card set, which means that the rookie box is a lot more a uh, lot more important than the 1992 regular edition. And on top of that, you would think that it's a good thing they did it because it was a, a bum rookie uh, rookie year, right? Well, that is true, but you do have Jimmy Smith and Tommy Maddox in this box, so those are actually really good rookie cards. On top of the fact that you have the veterans so jam-packed. So like I said, for these packs, there are almost no doubles. I happened to get one uh, errant double pack which had John Elway so I did get a double of Elway which actually means I have three of these between the two but in here I got two complete sets two perfect sets no doubles and the um, and so that means that every one of these cards I showed you I actually got both of them so in the in the uh, 1992 rookie update box you're going to get two Rices two Youngs and two Marinos uh, not to mention to Jimmy Smith and to Tommy Maddox. So, yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. Now, one thing about these cards is that on the card backs, frustratingly, they flip them around. So you have the card number on one side, and then it's on the other side, and then it's on the front side. And I hate that about these cards. But the reason they do that is because the binding actually dictates the the balance of the card the card is not a perfectly balanced card one side is actually slightly thinner than the other and so what i have here is this is a non flipped around card set you can see that the binding of the gold is all the same and on the back all of the card numbers show up in the exact same location but because of that, the whole thing's tilted, and you can see that if they lined up all the cards the way they did in 1990, all of these cards, th the whole thing just falls over as a big pile. Now, for an 82 or 84 card set, it's not that bad. You get to a full 280 card set, and no, there's no way that that thing is standing up. So they flip them around, which is frustrating, but it keeps everything upright. I wish that they had gone ahead and flipped around just the back and left the front alone so that all the cards on the front look good and then the backs basically get the card numbers in the same spot is the the real key because I don't mind here on the front that the bindings here and then the bindings here I don't mind that it's just on the back getting all the card numbers to work is really really frustrating but here's what's weird three boxes I didn't get a single gold card and I already opened two boxes of 91 a regular and a rookie and in that I got one gold card so between five boxes I've I only got one gold card between them and I got one Braille card uh, I, maybe in 91 91's veterans I might have gotten a, a Braille card but I was really surprised that I did not get a single gold card between these three boxes um, that's a rarity beyond what I remember of the day. So that's the only disappointment that I have. I mean, it would have been nice to get two different uh, 92 veteran boxes, but um, I've got the set. So it's not like I'm in, in dire need, but it w I really did want to get a gold card because while I have this gold card set, I have the rookie gold card set. I don't have the veteran uh, gold card set yet. And I really did want to get one. I did not. So that's the only disappointment. The only other thing I wanted to mention is every single one of the veteran boxes starts has this sitting on top, which is no big deal. But the first of the two had this interesting brochure in it that I'd never, I don't remember ever, ever seeing. But what's fun about it is that the brochure sells a bunch of merchandise for Action Packed, including a mug and a clock. I really would love to get a clock. They have director's chairs, they have pens and watches, and apparel. I gotta get one of the hats. Um, yeah, it's uh, duffel bags. They sold a lot of, of this stuff, and I, uh, man, I wanna get my hands on some of that stuff. So, 
Um, but yeah, that was that. That's how it worked for all of these these um, boxes. So it, it was. It, it's fun to these go through go quickly because every pack has either six cards, or for the rookies they have seven cards. So they do go in a hurry. And I think it's twenty four cards per box. Yeah, twenty or twenty four packs per box. So it goes fast. Um, the cards do look good. They they really do. It's not. It's not that the card uh, set looks bad at all. It's just not as good as the previous year. But they went with the bold design, but they went with very bold images too. So that that really makes up the difference. But yeah, that was that was how it worked. So um, I, I think that's about all I got to say. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching.